Welcome back. Are you in the process of selling or buying a home and need some help? Carol McClintock with FC Tucker MG Realtors is taking your calls this morning at 812-433-3456 or 1-800-959-1414. Thanks so much for being here. I love talking real estate. So oh, this yeah. is perfect. Yeah, absolutely. You have brought one property specifically um, right? on Main Street Condominium. Um, and so tell us a little bit about 300 Main Street and what condominium living downtown can offer. Well, this is easy because we actually live in this building and we live in the same, we call stack as this. So uh, this is a great condominium. It has uh, views from three sides. Uh, so there's a lot of light in this in this particular unit. This unit was, and you can see the big, huge windows there. Uh, this is on the third floor. Um, it was uh, purchased by these uh, individuals uh, when the building was being done. So it was customized by them. So um, not that the rest of the units are not fabulous, but this particular one um, has some extras that you don't find in all the condominiums down there. So these are you know custom cabinets and you can see the lighted mm -hmm. tops and um, all the stainless appliances. Um, there is hard flooring throughout, uh, which is very, very nice. Um, so this is one of, there are two units in our building, uh, 300 main. Uh, there is a one unit down at 508 main. And we're working on planning uh, an open house downtown. So that's one of the reasons we wanted to bring this. Um, that will be hooked in to the Downtown Alliance with Josh Armstrong. Great. And that is in the planning stages right now. So we hope to announce a date soon because there hasn't been a tour for a long time. Yeah. What do people love right now about living downtown? What makes it so appealing? Well, I think it's just that people can come home and then walk out and go to a variety of restaurants. Uh, my sister was in la town last weekend for a staycation for us, a vacation for her. And everywhere we went, we walked. We walked to Bossy Field. We walked to Haney's Corner. Of course, we walked to Brew Burger, which is only a block. Uh, but that's what people really like about it, that they're able to shop and walk and eat in a variety of places. Great. Real renaissance downtown. It's oh, so yeah. fantastic to watch yeah. and be a part of. So, Carol, we're going to come back after the break. And Carol's here to answer any of your real estate questions. You can give her a call at 812-433-3456 or 1-800-959-1414. We'll take your questions after the break. We're back with our Ask the Expert guest, Carol McClintock, with FC Tucker MG Realtors. She's taking your calls at 812-433-3456 or 1-800-959-1414. Putting somebody's house on the market can be a little overwhelming experience. Um, but I know that you all at Team McClintock really approach it um, in, in a very systemized way, and you really help your sellers beginning to end get ready uh, so they can put their best foot forward. Tell us how you take sellers through the process of getting a home ready to go on the market. Well, it starts with that first visit, and we have developed over the years um, a seller information sheet. So I always tell sellers, okay, I'm going to give you some homework. It helps them organize everything that they know about their home because, as we tell sellers, the biggest reason that people don't buy a home uh, besides pricing, price, condition, location, is because they can't get the information that they need to make a decision. So we have to have that information readily available. So that is the number one most important thing. Um, and then probably secondary, and we sort of start this with first visit, but then after that, is try to help people determine what needs to be in their home. You know, once you put your home on the market, it's not really your home anymore. It is a showcase. And so we need to make sure that people can go into that home and see their things in it. So it's so important to get... Uh, personal photographs to get clutter out to get you know people get tired of hearing me preach about the big fake plants mm -hmm. um, that just all takes up room um, it makes uh, people feel like they can't picture their things there they can't picture themselves living there and we have to make that transition to where we're talking about who's going to sleep in which bedroom and where they're going to eat their breakfast. And if we can't get there, we can't get them into an offer situation. Yeah, and you all really help sellers do that tremendously well. So William is on the line with a question for Carol. William, go ahead. Carol, um, I have a house and um, I've owned it for 20 years. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, when we had that earthquake a few years ago, uh, my basement was completely waterproofed and was semi-finished. And now, 
since, you know, a few years ago we had that earthquake in the middle of the night. But uh, I really, it would really be better for me to go on and get it sealed uh, for a prospective buyer. And also I wanted to say that you are one of the most elegant first ladies of Evansville that we have (laughs) ever had. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. That's the truth. Yeah. Well, let's get back to your basement. (laughs) Um, If you would like, you can contact us through our website and we can recommend some very uh, qualified, licensed contractors that can help you do that because it is important that you have that done, not only for future value of your property, but also um, so that when you do go to sell it, you have that completed and have all the documentation. Very. But thank you. Yeah, great question from Ryan and nice, well-deserved compliment. So thanks so much for being here today, Carol. Thank Always you. a pleasure to have you on. Thank you.